hey guys welcome back today in this video i'll show you how to fix windows audio device graph isolation fix high cpu usage on your pc and laptop so for this guys first method go to your restart and open your windows settings now here guys scroll down select your troubleshoot option now select the other troubleshooters. You can see here playing audio. Click on run. And wait here for complete this process. And the second method. Right click on start. Select here task manager. Find here guys. Windows audio device graph isolation type on the keyboard Windows audio device graph isolation right click here and select the end task select the end task the third method is scan using an antivirus software and the fourth method you uninstall your recent installed app Open your control panel, click on view by and select the category. Now select your programs and select the programs and features. Find here guys your recent installed app, select the app and click on install and complete the process. After restart your computer and the fifth method you unplug and replug headset or speaker and the sixth method open your control panel click on view by and select the category now select here hardware and sound and select the sound click on playback right click on using speaker and select the properties now select here advanced tab you will see here guys enable audio enhancement you check the option you check the enable audio enhancement option after click on apply and click on ok and the seventh method once again open this format right click on your speaker and go to properties Now go to advanced and uncheck here allow applications to take exclusive control of this device you uncheck this option after click on apply and click on ok and restart your computer and the eighth method open your control panel click on view by and select the category select the hardware and sound and select the sound now double click on your speaker select your advanced option click here guys default format and select the lowest quality select the lowest quality after click on apply and click on ok and once again restart your computer and the ninth method right click on your speaker icon click on sound settings scroll down here select the more sound settings and now click on communications select here do nothing click on apply and click on ok and restart your computer and the tenth method right click on your restart and go to device manager you can see here audio input and outputs click here update the all drivers right click on driver and select the update driver you can use the first one 
option search automatically for update using the online and the second one option browse my computer for drivers click here and click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer click on driver and click on next so same here guys update the all drivers in the audio input and output and the next expand the sound video and game controller same here guys update the all drivers after restart your computer the allowed method once again right click on start and open your device manager open the audio input and output right click on your driver like this and select the uninstall after the uninstall once again restart your computer and install the driver on your pc and the 12th method go to your restart and open your windows settings now select the windows update and click on check for updates wait here guys after it will show you update option you update your windows and restart your computer and the last 13th method go to start type here create a restore point select this option now click on system protection and click on system restore wait here guys click on next choose the event from which you want to restore your system you will see here many options choose the option after click on next and complete the project and restart your computer so thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe